Well, the project I got going on today kind of pulled me off my foundation digging, but had to be done. I took my wife's, Mrs. W's car in to get it inspected the other day, and it didn't pass. And they said the problem is, and they showed me, there's a broken spring, front coil spring. So this is not a how-to video, because I've never done this before. But I figured if I filmed it and I made any mistakes, maybe you guys watching it wouldn't make the same mistake. And I'll get it done. So that's what we're going to do today. My wife's car is a 2001 CRV. It's a great car. We have three of them, actually. This is the one that she generally drives the most. So let's dig into this thing and see what we can find. I got the brand new shiny spring right here. Some people are going to ask why I didn't just get a unit that had the strut and the spring all together. It would have been easier. But as long as the strut is good, this is cheaper. Cheap is always good. Oh, let's get started. This old jack right here, I wanted one of these babies because it lifts the whole front or the back of the car at one time. And I was thinking, once I get my garage built, I'm going to buy one of these. And that same exact day, I was driving down the road not two miles from my house, and this baby sat there right alongside the road, free to a good home. God is good. This thing has a lock. You get to the slot and it locks so it can't come down regardless of what this thing does. Now I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here is the broken spring. So we've got to get this unit out of here and then take spring compressors and compress this together so we can get it apart and then uh, put the new spring on. Now, right here are the two bolts that drop the top of that strut out of there. And this is the bolt that loosens the strut away from the spring. So we're gonna take these bolts out. I think I'm gonna spray them up a little bit first. As you can see, that dropped it out of there. Now we just gotta get this thing out of here. Best thing to do is to drop this thing out of here. Get this castle not loose.
I don't always like using these things because sometimes they tear the boot. But we were pretty careful and that time it didn't. Okay, so we got the strut out now. I guess he helped me a little bit. And now, what we gotta do is we gotta compress this spring, take this nut off, this cap will slide off, and the spring will come out, and then we put the new spring in. We went to Harbor Freight this morning, and for $32 plus tax, I got spring compressors which you're going to need to do this safely Now, you just tighten this down and it'll compress that spring. But we need to put one on each side. You want to put them 180 degrees from each other as much as you can. You want to take it down a little bit on each side. I'll take it down all at once on one side. Put the new spring on the same way. Down like that.
you could see in here there's a lip okay what I did I took this cap off because these things don't allow um, this to be in here so I'm gonna try pulling this spring down far enough that I can get this on and get the get the top on which is this um and hopefully that'll work so that's what I'm going to try There, it's coming up through there now. That's good. Now I got a chance. That's rubber, so I don't think you're going to hurt it. Okay, perfect. Now if I got to, if I can just get this, this goes on. Bring in a little bit.
Boy, it's very cold. Maybe just a little tiny bit more. Beautiful. Don't want to forget to put that big washer on there. As I said before, this is a learning process for me too. And maybe you guys can not make the mistakes I did. The mistake I made is I should have unhooked the bottom ball joint right to start with. I ended up doing that and it was a whole lot easier. Um, I ended up replacing the axle the axle wasn't in very good shape. So I decided while I had it apart, it was 90 some dollars for this axle. Um, I figured I'd replace it while I was here. So you just saw me, it just slips in. Not a big deal. It took me five, less than five minutes to put that axle in. Of course, that's with everything unhooked. Now I gotta put this thing back together. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is hooked back up the bottom of this strut. Now we gotta put on the axle knot. Now, this axle, you can see that there's a slot there. And what that's for is you take a punch or something And you hit it right there. I'm just using a little flat bar. I don't have a punch handy. And that dimples that in. 
and that prevents that nut from turning. Um, when you go to take it off, you, it'll turn off. But in the meantime, it's not going to loosen up because that is going to keep it. It's enough to keep it from just drawing loose. So basically, we're um, we're done. I just got to put the wheel back on, and and like I said. I replaced this axle because while I was in here I determined that it wasn't all that great so I replaced it also learn from me and take loose that bottom ball joint which is right here and the top ball joint I only took the, the top one off at first but if you take the bottom one off too then then it becomes a lot easier to get that strut back up in there where it belongs. And I ended up taking it off because I was taking the axle out. And I found out it was a lot easier if you just do it right to start with. So there you have it. It's really not that intimidating of a job. You're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need the spring compressors like this one. You need a pair of them. And I just bought these brand new at Harbor Freight for $32 plus tax. And you're probably going to need a fork that's probably only $12 or $15. Um, and that's for getting the ball joints out. Now when you do that, you have to be very careful that you place that in such a way that when you tap that in there, it doesn't destroy that boot. Um, if you destroy the boot, then you're either going to have to replace the ball joint or maybe you can get a boot, new boot for it, but you want to be careful. I didn't do it on either, either one of them, they were fine. So, that's the whole job right there. Just put the tire back on and I'm done. So I think the spring, um, I bought it at Napa and it cost me 80 some dollars for a pair of them. So I have an extra spring, but we have, in the family, we have five CRVs, so we may need, need that spring some other time. And the axle, like I said, was just under $100, uh, and I replaced that. For $100, it wasn't worth having to do this again and, you know, have problems later on, so I just decided to go ahead and replace that. Other than that, that's the expense. You can buy these units. Um, with the spring attached and you don't have to do all that if my strut was still fine so I didn't need to do that I don't know what the price of it would be obviously it would be more uh, the method of doing all this would be the same except you don't have to compress the spring other than that it would be the same hopefully you learned something I know I did if you got to do it good luck thanks for watching